So next concept is integrals depending on a parameter. So consider a closed rectangle D on a plane R cross R. So consider a rectangle D on the plane R plus R defined by, defined by is nothing but set of all ordered pair X comma T such that X lies between A and B and T lies between C and D that is it's of the form something like this say this is A say this is C D A B C D so this region is now D since uh, let let F from uh, from D to R we can use a continuous function a continuous function now since uh, my D is a uh, compact in R cross R, my F is uniformly continuous. Uniformly continuous. So just to recall the definitions of continuous, continuous and uniform continuous uh, from your previous uh, classes. So hence given any, hence given any epsilon greater than zero, given any epsilon greater than zero, so there exists delta greater than zero such that such that norm of norm of x comma t minus x dash comma t dash is less than delta implies in modulus of because my f map to r so it is f of x comma t minus f of x dash comma t dash is less than epsilon is less than epsilon so fix a t between a c and d fix some t between c and d t belongs to c comma d fix a t between c and d then for any then for any x comma x dash belongs to closed interval a comma b with modulus of x minus x dash less than delta implies implies norm of x comma t minus x comma dash is also less than delta this implies my using my uniform continuity of f modulus of x comma t minus f comma f of f of x comma t dash dash comma t x dash comma t is less than epsilon is less than epsilon this shows that this shows that for for the fixed t for this fixed p t if i restrict the map say m and s, we re rename it as f1 from closed interval a comma b to r are defined by defined by my x going to f of x comma t is uniformly continuous and hence continuous uniformly continuous so by fixing this t by fixing this t my function f1 so in particular we can name it as ft this function ft defined by x going to f of x comma t is uniformly continuous hence it is continuous hence it is continuous continuous therefore therefore we can say this this function ft ft is is belongs to closed are on closed interval a comma b that is uh, this ft uh, it's rayman integrable it's rayman integrable on closed interval a comma b this we got f ft is rayman integrable on closed interval a comma b t that is that is that is if i consider integration a to b a to b f of t f of x comma exist for all t belongs to closed interval c, 
comma d for all t belongs to closed interval f comma d because my f t is Riemann integrable for each t therefore integration a to b f of x comma t dx exist for all t belongs to closed interval c comma d therefore therefore the function therefore the function capital f from closed interval c comma d to capital r define uh, to be a line sorry therefore the capital f uh, defined from closed interval c comma d to the real line r defined by defined by f of t is nothing but integration a to b f of small f of x comma t dx is well defined function is well defined function well defined function so using this we shall see some results so theorem So it says, suppose, suppose from d to r, d to r is a continuous function on the closed in the rectangle on the closed rectangle. Then we'll say d, which is given by a set of all x comma t ordered pair x comma d that a lies uh, x lies between a and b and t lies between c and d then the function f of t defined by integration e to b f of x comma t d lies between t and t lies between c and d is continuous where f1 then f1 defined by a to b f of x comma t dx is continuous on closed interval c comma d so given that f from d to r is continuous so, proof. so given f from d to r is continuous f from d to r is continuous where d is closed rectangle since d is compact since d is compact uh, my uh, f is uniformly continuous this f uniformly continuous since d is closed compact in a compact subset of r2 my f is uniformly continuous therefore therefore for a fixed T belongs to closed interval C comma D. The map close, the map capital F from closed interval A comma B to R defined by defined by F of X is equal to small F of X comma T is uniformly continuous and hence is uniformly continuous is uniformly continuous. Is and hence, and hence, F1 uh, is map defined by clo uh, closed interval C comma D to R defined by defined by F1 of T is nothing but integration A to B F of X comma T dx dx for all T belongs to closed interval so C comma D is well defined is well defined. This we have already seen. And the, in previous so we'll see once again and now to show this f1 is continuous on closed interval a comma b c comma d f1 is continuous on closed interval c comma d so we shall show that this f1 is continuous so consider any arbitrary point arbitrary point t naught belongs to c comma d let epsilon greater than z at epsilon greater than zero since f is uniformly continuous on uh, d there exists a delta greater than zero such that norm of x comma t minus x dash comma t dash, t dash is less than delta implies modulus of small f of x comma t 
minus small f of x dash comma t dash is less than epsilon since by a uniform continuity of small f on the uh, uh, rectangle d on the closed rectangle d now now but then but then for any t for any t for any t belong to so for any t belongs to closed interval c comma t with uh, t minus t not less than delta less than delta we have we have norm of norm of x comma t minus x comma t not t not it's nothing but square root of t minus t not whole square t not whole square that is nothing but modulus of t minus t not which is less than delta which is less than delta implies implies modulus of f of x comma t minus f of x comma t not t not is less than epsilon is less than epsilon consider consider modulus of f1 of t capital f1 of uh, t minus capital f1 of t not t not so this is nothing but now f1 of t is nothing but integration a to b f of x comma t uh, x comma t dx minus integration a to b f1 of t not is nothing but integration a to b f of x t not dx dx so which is nothing but integration integration a to b a to b f of x comma t minus f of x comma t not into dx into dx now using the properties of integral and modulus we get it is less than or equal to integration a to b modulus of f of x comma t minus f of x comma t not into dx which is less than or equal to now modulus of f of x minus t com minus f of modulus of f of x comma t minus f of x comma t not is less than epsilon so it is less than or equal to epsilon into integration a to b x and that is nothing but epsilon into b minus so whenever when modulus of t minus t not is less than delta whenever modulus of uh, t minus t not is less than delta so since epsilon greater than is abs since uh, epsilon greater than 0 is arbitrary so f1 is and t not is an arbitrary point in c comma d my capital f1 is continuous on t not hence F capital uh, F1 is continuous on closed interval C comma D. C comma D. So, so. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.